Well, the TCU Horned Frogs were one of many teams impacted by COVID-19 cancellations last year, actually having their bowl game against Arkansas canceled because of positive COVID-19 cases. But this year, they hope to return to the field and take a run at a Big 12 title as they kick off our Big 12 look behind enemy lines. The TCU Horned Frogs are coming off a 6-4 and four season where they finished strong winning four of their last five Big 12 games, bringing back an experienced team in 2021. That those older teams, those more experienced teams know um, you know, don't panic, just trust yourselves, trust the coaches, trust the guys around you um, to make it happen. And obviously in this league with all the talent there is, you got to be able to win those close games. The Frogs returned 10 starters on offense, including quarterback Max Duggan, who discovered a heart condition early last year, but feels good and finished the season strong as the team's leading rusher and leading passer. Just polishing up on the passing game. Obviously we were not good, or I was not good at it last year, and we need to um, you know, pick it up, and that's why I feel like I'm more of a polished passer. That's why I've worked on it. That's why I feel like I'm better at. Duggan will have a new quarterbacks coach after Sonny Cumbie returned to West Texas in his alma mater, and now former Aggie and TCU quarterback Kenny Hill will take the reins as a quarterback coach in Fort Worth. Coach Hill, he, he's been here. He's played quarterback under Coach P. He's won one here. He's won a lot of big games, so he understands what Coach P wants, and I think uh, that's what helps us. In Kenny's case, I felt I feel really good because he's a he relates well. That was one of the reasons his relationship with Max. And our other quarterbacks, Kenny, I think, has the it factor. The defensive unit looks to be strong once again, returning eight starters led by all Big 12 defensive end, O'Shawn Mathis. Towards the end of the season, it's like a lot of stuff just became re recognizable and just being repeated over time and just being able to just see it over and over again. We were able to uh, go out there and execute and just see things slowly and just be able to move fast on that field. The Frogs will host Baylor on November 6th at Ammon Carter Stadium in Fort Worth.